Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, Sergeant Alex here. And as you can see, we're, uh, we got a whole CAD apocalypse going on. My plan is to uh, just semi creeper proof the area, then just a reason to have an army of cats. I, I have three of the, I think there's nine of them now. Of them. And I'm just bringing them up. The black cats are currently my favorite because I have a black kitty at home. So I figured one thing that might be fun is just comment down below and I'll pick names at random just to name a cat and put it somewhere around the base. But where we left off is um, the little hut here. As you can see, I decorated that one side with that little spoiler for today's episode. And I'm just going to pop over here. And that's this is pretty much where we sort of left off. There actually was no windows. I popped those in. We finished the roof. We got this basic part of the building done. And I recorded and edited all that stuff. I have a cat in my face. So there we are. There's the house. And then I got sick for a while, and that's went two, three weeks without a video. And then I posted the video where we made this, and I cat by cat. And then I said this part two of this episode would be uh, us decorating the house, and I was going to do the other side. So let's jump on over there. I'll look down for the big spoiler, which the other side has been decorated. Nothing too crazy, but just a little bit of stuff goes a long way. So are you ready? Drum roll, wandering trader. I might steal your llamas later. Poof. And this is pretty much the look I'm going for. Just small, simple details added so much. Uh, the biggest one, besides the uh, little... Uh, I actually didn't look up the name for him. I'm going to call him Gables. Little Gables here, or little poking out spots, is the pillars right here. And that adds so much. And they, for the most part, they don't line up. But... Just that little bit of detail there with the lanterns, the fen po fence posts, and then right there, the buttons just brings everything together. And for the shutters, instead of having them sitting right here to the side on each side, I just had them look like an actual shutter. It's going to cover one window. I have an actual window covered up. And they're all on the same side. If I wanted to go for consistency, I might actually pop up. I Actually, I do want to try that. We're going to pop up there. And... It might be a part of this episode, it might be a little mini episode about decorating the inside, but for, for the most part here, do I have, yes, I have some extra windows. Um, the inside, I, I sort of laid some of it out, I still have to decorate it, and none of this is permanent, like this room here, um, that, this kind of became emergency smelting. I put this little countertop here, I figured it would be nice welcoming, and then some chests, and I have armor pieces and whatnot here. Enchanting, because I kind of want to get sh shulker so full enchanted diamond armor and all that stuff and i kind of made this emergency storage a little spot back here for nothing but one thing that i do have planned out is actually the roof of this the third floor here um that actually has a little bit of a backstory way long ago i had this weird dream that actually made into a little story i was writing for school back then because we're going way back i was in school still and the, it was a, it was like a little dance club go scene in this story. But the fun, funny thing is the second floor with the office and stuff was you literally go up the flight of stairs and then poof, you're greeted by a little wall here. And it, it literally, it, it was just stereotypical cheesy, your white picket fence, there's little bushes and stuff house, front door had windows and everything. And you would walk through this like entrance to a house and poof, there'd be the office. In this case, it's going to be the bedroom, and I was able to find out that we match up perfectly with the wall here, so I added an old walk space. So that's my plan for this floor. I actually used the scaffolding to mark out where I want the wall. So we're going to make the wall here have the doors. I'm going to sneak in some planters here just to, just to bring that little vision of mine to life. But one thing I do want to do... Bottom, pick, pick, pick it up. Bottom, pick it up. Bottom, pick it up. And that should do the same thing. That should add a little bit more detail. I wanted to check that out. Yeah, I kind of like that. And you have those two random ones just shut. And that just adds a little bit of detail. So I think we will do that. And I already have some of the stuff we need. Um, pretty much we're going to... We need that, 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 that for right now. We'll wrap everything up 
Thank you, cat, for blocking the view once again. We're going to get a counter for how many times my cat walks across my face. Come on, find a comfy spot, kitty. You were laying down a minute ago. But let's go up and do the do the first little bit of decoration, and then we'll work our way down. So the little gables here. Um, I already found, I already figured out where they're in. You have to test it moving up and down. I kind of like to keep it low on the house. And j literally just to make these, we're going to pop a block, a solid block here. So use this one too, solid block. And that way you can bring the you can bring the stair blocks out and do the little corner piece. What? I think I might have already messed up. Cause shouldn't you be a little wider? Yeah, three blocks. Okay, hang on. Yep, I already messed up. This is what happens when you go like two weeks without recording a not really complex build. Okay, right here we're going to come out on each edge. So there's going to be one block here and then out of a three by full three by three area, bottom one's going to actually be four. And we're going to put our solid block here. Okay, it's all coming back to me now. And then we can come out with our little corner stair blocks. And I'm going to concentrate on this one window here and we'll go replicate on the other two. So come here and thank you having an extra bit of roof there. And then you can just build it up and do your typical A-frame. So come back here, pop over here. And then for here, how did I do the little decorative? I think, yeah, I just did a half slab. So we're going to half slab out and half slab right there and then stair block facing normal stair block upside down with a half slab right on top of that and that gives us a nice little point out and pretty much we're going to copy all the way here so we have our solid block that's going out one our stair blocks coming out so we get a nice little corner piece and then upside down stairs on both sides and then connect it on all up. These ones here done too. We're going to do two windows at once. Let's fix that. Okay, third time's the charm. I think that one was actually a solid block, not a stair. And the one thing I do recommend is if you have any more major roof stuff left to do, uh, you might want to get it done before you actually close up the roof. But upside down, half slab, and then two more regular slabs coming off the roof. Regular stair block, upside down stair block, jump place a half slab. And for this one, and you can do you don't have to do the half slab, but I feel it just adds a little bit more, especially since this is a really big, thick, chunky roof. And just for a final detail, right here, we're going to do some half slabs along the bottom. And that's, it goes, it continues the decoration of the roof and also hides up that white concrete. We have just enough gap to fit, fit in there. So we're done with all that. I'm going to leave that, this out. So we're going to have a solid block here. And then we're going to come down and do like a nice little U. And that makes a nice little hole. Pop in our stained glass. that and I'm going to do this one backwards just so we can still be outside place the glass in um, the shutters or on this side of the build so well they're on this side if you're on the other side but for this side since it's flipped we're going to put them there for consistency's sake I want this one to be the uh, covered up one One, so we do that and there we go we have our roof pretty much done um 
I'm going to use the power of Silk Touch to sneak in here really quick, sleep, and then we'll go look at the finished product. Okay, and we are back looking at the roof. There's some nice detail. I do want to add some lighting, so I'm thinking maybe adding some lanterns behind the glass there. But now to get on to the actual goal of today's episode, which I think might actually involve some spruce logs. I don't think I used dark oak on this wall. I am going to double check. This is all looking like spruce. Except for it actually goes to dark oak. Okay, dark oak it is. I would love, I would hate to break consistency. So we're going to need some dark oak. And that's pretty much just going to connect the top part and the bottom part, give a little bit of decoration. What am I doing down here? I don't, my scaffolding doesn't reach up that high. I need to take the super secret long root, which I'm actually about to get rid of, sadly. Oh, why, oh, why am I going to have to interrupt it with random blocks in the way as I nearly walk off the wall? So... So I have a block here, so right here... Right here, here, and here. So we're going to be running the logs up here. Just like that. And I do think that's going to mess up that wall a little bit. Um, looks fine from that angle. What about coming down here? Oh, meh. Not the greatest, but it works for me. Oh, cat. Cat's on the move. Oh, he's heading the other direction. So, false alarm for the kitty interruptus counter. I know what up. Uh, this is why I can't have nice blocks. Here, bring that down. Here, and I am going to need some. I got some. Buttons right there to already use. I'm gonna leave that as my little sneaky in and outy hole. So we're gonna put a button here, a button here. And I'm gonna need one more button. There we go. And spruce fencing. I got some right here. And I walked off the wall again. I, I said I was not going to fill the corners in here. But just for consistency's sake, and that did not think that part through. So, forget what I just said. I believe all we have left is the scaffolding, which will add that last little bit of detail. I might pop up on the wall there. Yeah, let's pop up over on that roof there to see, see what I can see. Because I might have a little bit more detail I can add. Anything I can do here? Nothing really. What do I do on the roof over here for that? Because pretty much I'm just mimicking what I did here. Ah, 
That's it. I knew something looks funky. Don't you need some? Actually, I already have uh, dark oak trap doors. Any more spruce wood? No, I don't. So I'm gonna do. No. Oh, three. Okay. So four. Uh, we'll do ten for now. Actually, going to might actually have to pull, go steal some scaffolding from Rob for this one, or rip down some of mine to get up there. But I think I should be able to at least get the shutters in. Um, I can at least get one from up here. First things first, on the bottom, look it up. Ooh. Nope, nope. Uh, done gone goofed. Uh, okay, I, 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 I cave. I need scaffolding. I'll use these four pieces for now. QNO blocks. So three to get there. That. Do that. Two, three. I'm gonna lock that one totally. That one done. We got the trap doors in, we got the buttons in, and just little stuff like that adds nice detail. Uh, While well, I am down here, let's actually put the cobblestone back in so we can finish up. Uh, so we can finish up this wall. The blocks are just not with me today. So do that. That up. This one I'm going to have all three of them open. It's going to be weird to have a shutter that's not all correct. Missed them. And that's looking pretty good. We saw this little area to decorate. I think I can do the satisf satisfying part of just ripping down all this scaffolding. Let it rain. And then pick it up because... Scaffolding is hard to come by when you really don't have a strength farm. So we got just that little bit of detail right there, just brings the whole build together. Pretty much we added posts, put buns at the cross beam sections, a little bit of fencing on the corner, and just to cover up the fact that it, uh, the half slabs and the logs aren't good together. Uh, dark oak trap doors, lock those open. Spruce trap doors we use for the, for the uh, shutters. And a couple windows shut, just because maybe whoever's at that window doesn't want the light on which leaves this which i'm actually not going to do logs i'm actually gonna go a different route let me check i want to pull the dark oak in but i don't there's already enough dark oak so i'm going to use more some more spruce to decorate it and stick along with that theme which reminds me, I have one more detail I need to add on that wall. I just need to look at the previous wall to figure it out. And that is, of course, some lighting. Some beautiful luminescence to light up our lovely build. So I'm going to have to... I want to say... I want to grab the oak fencing. I don't think I used it for that. But just in case, it's nice to have on you. Definitely going to need sticks of making more. 
I'm over to a junk chest. Let's get rid of all this superfluous stuff. And organize it later. Anything you need? No. And what was I just thinking? That is right. I need lights. It should be in this chest. Yep, right here. One, that's my... That, that's not the uh, crafting chest. So we're going to do 12. That will give me 15. Yeah, that is more than enough to get the job done. I know I'm going to need you. Did I use the oak wood? No, I used spruce. So, we got the spruce fencing. I thought we were going to need oak, but I, we don't. Right there. Right there. I hope that all lined up. That's good. And I only need to use a little bit of scaffolding here to get up. Just a quick little check. No, that one didn't line up correctly. And I'll just sneak my way onto the roof later and fix that. But for now, I want to add the last little bit of decoration here, which is going to sneak here. Um, I want to do that one, but I can't just because the log's there. And I'm going to, I think it's more important to have that decorated than right here. Actually, I know a neat little trick that I used to do. So, so wherever we are going to pop in some fencing, just to make sure it connects up, well, it appears to connect up, we're going to put an upside down stairs block. So right on the corners, right here. Here, another one there because we're going around the corner. And I'm not going to do there just because that's the inside area. I might add a nice little potted plant. So we're going to add two, oh, two fences under there. And that just is going to break it up, give it a little bit more color. Because it's just, from a lot of builds, it's just, they need, a, the major structure itself is fine. It just needs that little bit of detail to bring the whole thing together. I need one more thing of fencing there. Boop. 15 just wasn't quite enough. We need 16. So I got two left over. I think that's going to be it. A little bit of detail right there. There. Because the building, it's, that little addition there itself is a completely different color. It breaks up the entire build. It's a different shape. adds a little bit of boxiness. And yeah, just that little bit. I might actually come back with a... I don't want to say spruce trapdoors, but the dark oak might work there. Maybe add some actual shutters or just go on the side there with a little bit more color. But overall, that's a nice nice little bit of detail. I'm happy with it. We got that roof there, and we copied the detail for the shutters down there that I, I just came up with. You got to test little bits and pieces out here. And just little bobbles and stuff, not solid blocks to add. add. So we have the solid blocks behind with the glass windows, and then just stuff in front of there that break it all up, give a little bit more texture and depth and a little variation in color. I mean, yes, it, it's all brown, but there's a little bit of light brown here with the shutters, a little bit there for holding the lanterns. The lanterns are orange. And then you have one shade of brown from the dark oak, and then the dark oak logs. Different shades of brown and textures. Just just little bits to draw your eye, eye so you're not trying to take in one big whole, whole building at once. And that's pretty much it. That nice little building's all decorated. And I mean, what from last episode was just pretty much... Uh, a gray gray and white box with a roof 
now has just a little bit of life breathed into it just with the windows. So I think uh, I'm going to make a little mini episode to come out next week where I might live stream it. And that is just uh, decorating the inside. Here I'm not really going to decorate, do any decorations on camera. I'm just going to tinker around with it and just kind of give a little bit of color. Because for the most part when you're walking through the gate, you're not going to go there. I'm going to actually turn this little area here into like a little graveyard. Because right there is um, an AFK fish farm I have. And it needs direct sky access, glass blocks over the top, effect rates and all that. So I kind of have to mob proof it. I'm thinking of just making like a little um, crypt sarcophagus. Um, if you think of like the, in New Orleans, because of how uh, the ground and stuff is there, the graves and stuff are above ground. So maybe something like that. Make a fancy little graveyard here. So, yeah, I, I know it's so nice. You come through the front game, boof. Graveyard and an in temporary player home yeah this is not my player home this is just a little place to set up until i get around to building a player home and it's gonna add some nice detail this that wall there i'm thinking of uh adding my bee farm that i'm definitely gonna live stream because uh, i think it's coming out with this episode of the bee farm so i'm thinking from that post there all the way over here to that post setting up a bee farm so that's 10 20 30 40 blocks total and i can have some fun decorating that I'm going to, instead of making collection, I'm going to go around the corner, build the collection system there. So, uh, yeah. That's 40, 50, 60-ish hoppers. So I'm going to need, like, a stack of hoppers to get this job done. Right? I've already been going around collecting beehives. I might farm them elsewhere or go around, go back out onto a little large expedition. But I got two beehives already. Each one already has two bees and... Why am I walking back into the old home? Um, I already have two beehives. Um, actually, this is a good thing. Let's update the map, see if anything changed, and let's actually move this out. Um, yep. Poof. We have our little uh, build that we added to the village, and you can see the roof right there of the latest build. Nice, big, happy change. And I'll have to get this uh, permanent, more permanent home. So that is pretty much going to be it for this episode. Oh, one more thing. Um, that became, went from a Lancer into a Bell. I actually found a village and um, borrowed their Bell. Borrowed without permission or the intent of ever returning it. So if you enjoyed this episode, hit that like button. If you didn't hit the dislike button, make me cry. Um, if you have any ideas, comments, anything you want to say, comment them down below. Um, even if you just say hi, I'm, I'm automatically going to put you in the running for having a cat named after you. So I'm just going to take your username. I'll type it in as a, on, on name tag and give it to a random cat. If there's a particular cat you want, um, let me know. We have the black cats. We got the little orange tabby cats. And then we have the little brown and white kitties. Uh, I am trying to get the other ones to but i think i need a few more villagers before cats will start spawning in i mean i had the original two iron golems from when i was working on this village one was the original one that spawned in another one spawned in when i collected all the villagers up in one spot so i'm thinking i have to get a few more villagers before cats will start spawning in again but i'm definitely going to work on that off camera i'm hoping by next episode the village itself will be done so actually let's uh, take a quick peek that's coming along good so I'm hoping next episode to have this village done. It's a little off camera project. I'm going to make a nice little red schoolhouse there to put everything else in. And we got a few houses here and there. And I'm pretty much going to continue here. I'm thinking of just once I fix the whole where these are going to go, I'm thinking between them just running a few more houses here, making a little garden there and there for the farmers to work off of adding another house here and then a few more there and making like a little artificial well in the center here so on the path around and back and that should give plenty of beds and then i'm going to add a little bit more, a few more farm spots here for the farmers because we have their composters right here i might move one up there but right here some more carrots maybe put some potatoes here and that should uh increase the whole villager production there because i think that they don't have any food right now. I haven't been feeding them. And Rob hasn't. One of them did 
they, they did breed and pop one villager who doesn't have a job or anything, so more on that, but definitely comment down below if you want to name a cat, like, comment. I already did that. Uh, subscribe because I always got more content coming on the way, and I'm looking for recommendations on videos. And that is pretty yeah. much going to be it, so this is Sergeant Alex. Uh, a little bit of a more relaxed episode. I'm, still, I'm getting back into the swing of things. I haven't done Minecraft for a month because I got really, really sick and all that happy stuff, so getting back into the swing. I was really glad to finally finish this build because I started the build, made that first episode, decorated this half. I was like, okay, I'm going to record this tomorrow, and then it all went downhill from there. So that is pretty much it. So this is Sergeant Alex again. Hope you have a nice day. I will see you next time. And that's all. So bye. Let me fix that.